Hey Leos, welcome to your October 2021 message for the month ahead. If for those of you who are looking to connect with your spirit guide or connect with your own soul that much more, I put together two free meditations to help you with just that. I'll put that in the links and the comments below for you guys. Um, but Leo, let's dive in. Uh, we got Sacred Fool, Be the Hunter, Not the Hunted, and Visions of Life Beyond Death. So Leos, you're definitely kind of going through like a moment where you're like, whoa, if I don't do anything different now, this is what my life is going to be like in 30 years, 15 years, five years, two years, two months. It's just like a, like, like a, whoa, if I keep eating this way, I'm going to be up to 300 pounds by next summer. Whoa, if I keep dating this guy, I'm never going to have children that I want. Whoa, if I keep overworking myself this much, I'll never have time to find a wife. It's those moments where it's like, it's like those, I want to say like brutal, like wake up calls where you're just like stunned at like, whoa, the way I've been living my life served me for a time period, but I'm now entering a new time period in my life. And it's kind of like, like wake up Leo and become aware that that's what's going on in your life right now. It is time for you to start sacred fool. It's time for you to start the next stage of your journey. And the reason why sometimes it's hard for people to change, especially as you get older, one of the common things are, oh, but I'm, I don't want to start all over. I'm older. And, and, but that's why it's called the sacred fool, because you do have an innocence and, and, and I need this as you start something new, right? Oh yeah, I want to become a doctor. You go to med school, you go to residency, and then you're like, oh wait, the hospitals just push me around a lot and bully me. And what the heck? Right? So when you have an experience that you thought would turn out good, you get all gung-ho, and then you're like, oh, wait, this is what it's actually like. If you have an experience like that later in life, you're like, wait a second, maybe it's not going to be worth it. Recognize in here that you're settling, though. Recognize in here that you're like, oh, just because of that manifestation didn't turn out the way I thought it would, um, it doesn't mean that this one will turn out that way. Because now you're wiser, now you're smarter, now you're also going to like take into account uh, your emotional well-being and your mental well-being, right? Let's keep on the same example of that doctor. That would be someone going, hey, I think I want to go to medical school, um, but let me see what it's like first, you know? Um, and, you know, I had a friend one time where she, she realized in college, she's like, I think I might want to do it, but I want to see what it's like. I want to make sure I'm really going to like it. So she went and got her CNA, um, which is a certified nurse assistant. It's the people who tend to, like, move people in the beds and, like, give them baths and, like, you know, clean their teeth and stuff. Um, but she was like, I'm just doing it because I actually want to get in the hospital at like the cheapest way for me because, right, you got to pay for each degree and certificate that you get. So she was like, I just want to get in there in the cheapest way I possibly can to see what it's like. And then from there, you know, when she happened to be in the room and there was a nurse or a doctor, she would like quickly go out and say like, hey, one question. And then she said she got enough information in like three, four months that she was like, no, that's not for me. That sounds too aggressive. It sounds too... I thought it was going to be like doctors coming together as a positive team to serve the patient. Instead, it just seems like it's a lot of fighting. So she backed out then. So just because you're going to start something doesn't mean you have to go all in. It means you're like, hey, this is something that's like interesting me. So I want to start spending more time there seeing what it would be like. Maybe, maybe you'll bump into people that you can actually talk to, like the example I gave you. Maybe you'll start reading blogs. Maybe you'll find YouTubes of someone talking about what their experience was like when they did it, right? It's, it's like... Be willing to be at the gathering information. I'm gathering information to see if this is something I would want to pursue, right? If dance is catching your eye, you don't need to go all in and like hire uh, the top notch best dance instructor ever and like get yourself five costumes custom fitted. You could just watch a YouTube video at home. Do it a couple times. If you like it, you can go to an in-person course. If you like the in-person, you can keep going. If you like the in-person, you can keep going. If you like the in-person, then maybe y'all could get together and make a TikTok. Maybe y'all could get together and make a YouTube video of your own. Then maybe you guys could go to a dance event together. Like that, maybe then you'll start the studio of your own. So it's like being willing to view your manifestations as incremental steps. That's, that's like a huge kind of lesson for you, Leo. Um... Okay, so the next card, be the hunter, not the hunted. These are those moments in life when you like kind of brutally become aware of when it's something you want to do, 
because it's something you want to do versus you want to do it because someone else wants to do it. Um, cause you know, Leo's, you guys are like very gung ho. You guys are the ones who are out there, you know, creating rallies, getting people motivated. Um, and so sometimes you took that initiation and went hoorah, hoorah, and made some big things happen in your life because someone else wanted it. Only if you later realize, oh, I didn't want that. Okay. And sometimes though, you may not intrinsically want it, but if someone else wants it, you still legitimately may want to do it, right? Uh, one of my friends has a daughter who's two and she just wants to like play all the time. It's great. Most of the time though, it involves cleanup work on my end. But when I see how happy it makes her and then I get happy knowing I helped contribute to that and then I have fun too, the cleanup work doesn't seem as bad. But there are some days where I just look at her and I'm like, no, man, I'm way too tired for that today. Sorry, you know. Do you hear that moment though? That most of the time I'm like, oh yeah, let's play. But sometimes it's like, I did not sleep well. I am too tired. No, we'll have to do that next time I come over. Being able to do both. Being able to do both. That's what you need to learn, Leo. In this moment, I don't have the energy to give to that right now. At this moment, all, and all you have to do to say no to people is, oh, like, think, like, oh, thanks for thinking of me and inviting me in that. That is something I typically like to get involved with. Um, my plate's a little full right now. I'm spending a lot of my time, you know, taking care of my daughters and just focusing on making sure they're getting everything they need. There is nothing wrong with saying that, Leo. Man, my plate's full right now. Thank you for thinking of me, though. When it gets a little lighter, can I reach back out to see if you're available? Or let's use an example where you want to help, just not to the degree they want help. Um, like, oh, well, hey, thanks for thinking of me. Uh, you know, right now, my, I don't have, my time bandwidth can't allow for that level of support, but I'd love to help in this way. Is that something that you need? That's true intimacy. Leo, that's true intimacy in relationships. Um, okay, let me see. Are there any more messages, Spirit? Okay, yeah, I'm going to pull a clarifying card. Yeah, and it's kind of like, okay, you got to do a little bit of cleanup work. So in terms of manifestation, there's post-manifestational cleanup when something happened and you clean up the vibes afterwards. And there's pre-manifestation. That's when you get out ahead of it. That's where you're doing, you're meditating, you're tending to your emotional well-being and mental well-being every day. And you like prepay that you want it to feel good. Um, we got to do a little post-manifestational cleanup of those times where you got involved and you didn't really want to. It can be so easy for people to slip into, well, they bullied me. Well, she clearly really wanted it and she wasn't going to stop until she got what she wanted. She took advantage of me. It is so easy to say those things. And guys, are there people out there who will 100% take advantage of you? Yes. But if you put the onus on them, the responsibility on them, now you're putting yourself in a position where, where it's always on someone else's responsibility for how you feel. And even though, yes, they were the jerks, they took advantage of you, you need to take the power back and go, well, that didn't feel good. Now that I know that they're willing to um, know more than someone else and use that to their advantage, I now no longer want to hang out with them. Pull the power back. Don't need an apology from them. You don't need validation from them. You just need to cut them out of your life. Okay. And move on. That sucked. Like, no, like I would never hang out with him again. He was just so willing to let me like live a fantasy relationship in my head and like play it on it a little bit. That's not fair. That wasn't fair what he did. So no, I'm never hanging out with him again. That's the kind of mindset you want to get in. Um, yeah, because you don't want to let what happened in the past be your reason for why you can't have what you want right now. And that's all forgiveness is, guys. You're not forgiving them for treating you poorly. You're not forgiving them to show that you're the bigger person. You're not forgiving them to show how good of a partner you can be in life. Forgiveness is, I now release using you as my reason for why I don't have what I want right now. I release you. Goodbye. All right. I hope that helped. Leo, give me a thumbs up, write something in the comments. I'll reply or I'll make a video to your question. Um, if you want those two free meditations meet, to meet your spirit guide or connect with your soul more deeply, I always put that link in the comments, but love you guys bunches and see you in the next video. Bye.